today I'm saying the Manila for and with the E of Green Gables. I suppose you're Mr. Matthew Cumber. Mrs. Spencer told me what you look like. I'm very glad to see you. I was beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me. I had made up my mind that if you didn't come for me tonight, I'll go down the track to the big wild cherry tree at the bend and climb a bit. I wouldn't be a bit afraid. And it would be lovely to sleep with quite the long moon child. Don't you think? I got all my really goods in it. But it isn't heavy. But it isn't carried in a certain way that pulls out. So I better keep it because I know the exact knack of it. But I'm talking too much. It's the only thing that I do. Miss Spencer said that my tongue will be hung in the middle. But it isn't. It's firmly fast enough for anything. Would you rather? I'll stop. I can't stop when I make up my mind. Although it's difficult.